Welcome to the Sound Off Network, where we put the T in teacher. I'm Mrs. Phelps. And I'm Mrs. Roddy. And class is now in session. Let's talk about it. So your do now for today is to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. And please don't forget to share those comments. All right, so let's start with the more recent man who is being dragged all over Twitter for making comments about Sierra and Russell's relationship. Channing Crowder on his podcast, The Pivot Podcast, said, Yeah, Russell ain't had that bread, she ain't gonna be with him. <laughs> Russell Square. Yeah, Russell Square. Square. Russell Russell Square. Thing, Sierra, Sierra had a she she has a good situation, but she was you don't leave future they, she and a, get with Russell Wilson. The, the, the thing is, I this think though, that's what you don't wrong, leave though. future and get with Russell Wilson. Wilson. You gonna leave future and get with Russell Wilson? Is, though, when you he's have, so goddamn square, and I love him on the field. He's this. a square. Channing. He's a king square. Why is there a but after she has a good relationship? Sierra has a good relationship with this man. Why can't she level up? So, level up. not level only did Channing Crowder call Russell Wilson a square, we know that he's had his own problems and his own issues in his marriage. And one of the things that his wife complained about was the lack of intimacy oh. in their marriage. Mm. Channing Crowder had put high value on the fact that he could bring home millions to his wife. And that should have been good enough for her. But she said, it's like when you go out and you give the world the most of you and then you come home and you give me the least of you, like how does that make us feel? So I think it's just like you, you put on for the coach, you put on for the fans, come home and put on for me. Like I want that same energy when you come home and love me and be intimate with me and, and feel me like in that way. Mm. Sound like she won't hurt a Russell Wilson. That's exactly what it sounds like to me. Sounds like there might be a little hateration going on on Russell Wilson. So his credibility is just shot. Shot. Who else we got? Slim Thug also decided to make some unsolicited <laughs> comments about Russell and Sierra's marriage, saying, I don't believe it. I think it's all for financial stability. He also called Russell Wilson corny saying, I don't believe a girl coming from a street dude could even adapt to a square like Wilson. So tell us what S Slim Thug and Future have in common. <laughs> well, Slim Thug, I don't know if you guys know, but back in 2010, 2010, he and Latoya Luckett um, used to date. And he publicly came out and said that the reason for the demise of their relationship was that he cheated and got another woman pregnant. Wow. So again, Credibility on speaking on a man being corny, little shot. Because to me, y'all's idea, Future's idea, Slim Thug's idea, Channing Crowder Crowder's idea of being cool, street dude, the standard is to cheat or not be emotionally available for your partner. So what's up with these men calling Russell Wilson a square? Can we define that? What is first what are they of all, really saying? calling him a square. So first of all, there are de there are plenty of definitions for a square. It's someone who is conventional, old fashioned, which I don't see anything wrong with that. I think that that's part of the problem now with these new age dudes. Mm -hmm. They're unconventional, meaning, uh, well, it's, it's, it's normal for a man to cheat. That's what men do. That is the mindset. That is what has been instilled into a lot of these men. So when you see someone like Russell Wilson, that is considered corny for Sierra to have changed the type of man that she chose to date. Up. Yeah, and leveled up, mm -hmm. right? That's mm -hmm. exactly what she did. She leveled up. And no, we're not just talking about financially. Future got money, he's good too, but she has her own money. Leveled she up. Leveled, leveled up in her leveled maturity. Up. She leveled up in her choices, right? If you don't grow as a person, then you stuck. Oh yeah, T.I. had some, something to say about their relationship. Tell, tell us what T.I. had to say about it. I think that early on in the beginning of the relationship when there was an uproar about little future, little baby future, he had attended uh, Russell Wilson's practice and this was a, a few months into them dating. There was outrage over the, on the internet about this man embracing the woman that he's dating child. T.I. was a part of that outrage. 
he just felt like he was doing too much too soon and that he shouldn't be spending all this time around this this child but i just feel like that is so it first of all it's hypocritical of ti to say that because he took in zanique uh ti uh tiny's daughter as his own he claims zanique as his own so i just feel like it's a little hypocritical for you to come out and say that it was wrong for this man to begin a relationship with this child even though they're only a few months dating. You got to do that when you date. Very when you know that you're serious, it is very important for a person to introduce their child to the person that they're dating, especially if they've established that they're serious. What do these men all have in common? Well, don't know too much about Channing Crowder and his infidelity, but we do know that the rest of these men have cheated. cheated. And they feel like that is the standard. standard. And because he did, and because Russell Wilson does not hit that meter, there's a problem with him. It's an issue. All right. We all know about T.I.'s uh, past inf infidelity. We know about it. It's very public. Tiny filed for divorce for him twice. But I think that, again, when we're talking about conventional standards in this society is that it's normal for a man to cheat and that it's normal for the woman to take him back and everybody cheers. You know, that's just become the, the standard. So it seems like the reason why these men are calling Russell Wilson a square is because they're pretty much jealous of the fact that Sierra Wilson has said, no, I'm not going to accept a cheating man. I'm not going to accept a man giving me his second best, yes. not treating me like the queen that I am, right. I'm gonna level up and that is gonna be the standard. Yeah. And because she has done it, other women are gonna take that example and, and say, we're gonna do that too, that's gonna be our standard as well. Yes, and men like the ones that we've mentioned have a problem with that. They have a problem with a woman recognizing her value. You know, I, and I, a lot of times on the internet, even when it came to, uh, to Sierra, men would call her damaged goods because mm -hmm. she had a baby from somebody mm -hmm. else. Why isn't Future referred to as damaged goods? He has four it's baby a double mamas. Standard. It's mm -hmm. absolutely a double standard. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, at some point you gotta break you gotta grow up. Now Sierra, of course, in the past we've known her to be linked with Lil Bow Wow in her twenties, maybe late teens. Mm -hmm. 50 cent twenties. Um future. 20s mm -hmm. we all know that your 20s are your mess up years exactly. those are your mess up years that is when you're starting to learn your likes and your dislikes so why is it a problem that yes at one point she dated the quote unquote bad boy but now that she has developed into a woman she recognizes what is important to have in a mate to close out I think the, oh, the reason why we wanted to do this was to just find a, a, just a commonality amongst the type of men that have a problem with their relationship. And they might need to seek their own healing and some therapy themselves because I feel like Sierra and Russell Wilson are recreating the narrative for what a healthy relationship is supposed to look like. So what have we learned today, class? Lesson number one, know your worth. That goes for male and female. Know what you deserve, know what you're worth, and never settle for anything less than the best. Lesson number two, learn from your past mistakes and don't allow your past mistakes to determine your future. Lesson number three, if leveling up means corny, then give me corny any day of the week. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel.